what is a numerare price, numerare. It's convenient to set the price of one good to just one, one per unit. Why? We need to define things like income, uh, amount, or, or, or uh, revenue. We need to think about the trade-offs. Um, we have to define them in some units. Uh, we could define them in a currency unit, like pounds or yen, or we could define them in terms of their units of gold, et cetera, et cetera. But it's most convenient for the mathematics when we can just refer to everything we're writing in units of one of the goods, okay? And then it just makes the maths a lot more simple. How do we do that or why do we know we can do that? Well, all right, suppose there's two goods, uh, X1 and X2. I have my budget constraint. My income is equal to I, to, if I spend all my constraint is strictly speaking, my income has to be greater than or equal to my expenditure. But let's just think of the person who spends all of their income or all of their wealth, which you will want to do if you're maximizing your utility and we've got the time frame set correctly. So we say M equals P1 X1 plus P2 X2. Okay. So whatever this budget constraint is, it's a linear equation. Even if we have a nonlinear equation, this will still work. And the relationship, the, what this defines is how much X1 I have to give up to get more X2. Okay, and this work will work also in context of production and other things. Uh, I haven't said what unit these are in. As I said, it could be dollars, pounds, or yen, or whatever. Let's just think about this, that the unit of, the, the measure of value is amount of good X1, okay? Uh, whenever we're talking about anything, we're talking about amount of good X1, okay? So I can rewrite this as M over P1, so the amount of X1 that I can purchase, or my income in terms of the amount of X1 that can be purchased, the amount of chicken, like measure income in chickens, uh, divide everything by P1. If I spend all my income or all my wealth, I'm spending, uh, and if I think about I'm spending, I have to divide it between chickens and this other thing. Uh, I can think about how many chickens I buy, plus how many of this other thing I buy measured in units of per relative to chickens. And this, if we're in a competitive economy, this will reflect the economy's trade-off in producing the two goods. We could redefine this M as some other M prime, if you like. Okay, so call this M prime is equal to M over P1. That's income expressed in units of chickens. Uh, okay, or let's, to be consistent with the, with the written thing, let's call it capital M equals M over P1. Okay, I could have also done it for good two, either way. Uh, in the textbook, they talk about in terms of units of a composite good, but it doesn't have to be a composite good. It could be a single good. Okay, the point is that this budget line is the same as this budget line. The equation, let's say my income is 10. I can spend my income on two things. Let's say uh, one of them costs two and the other costs four. That's, it, that's the same thing as saying, well, suppose each unit of income uh, represented in this new currency represented two of the other currencies. So let's divide it by two. We could say five equals to X1 plus two X2. These are the same budget constraints. If we drew these, they would have the same slopes and intercepts.